y'all welcome back to my channel today is monday something i don't know girl i don't know i was really trying to be at peace today and we still gonna try to manifest and and you know try to regain our thoughts and regain our energy to be positive but something is going on something something in the atmosphere something in the ocean something is going on y'all i've been having a rough time like yes the intro will be walk up like a flame hard in the paint for a little minute because that's honestly how i'm feeling mentally like i'm just girl a lot of things been going left like i literally, literally 10 seconds ago i stepped on my daughter tablet <sighs> child <laughs> and that's the crack in it. That's the crack in it. This is the, about the third tablet I didn't bought for her, and I didn't put a crack in it this time. So I'm like, oh my god, bro. Luckily, it's kind of at the top part, so I mean, I feel like it'll still be functional. But you know, when that one crack start, like as soon as she drop it or anything, it's gonna start spreading. Oh, what is happening? What is what is happening? Like. Girl, I have not been having a good little a little month. I said besides my birthday, which was decent, like I felt love, you know. But everything else, like my, I'm telling you, my, I, it's. Let me try to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it feels like. And I don't, I don't want to say it because, you know, I don't want stuff to happen, like. Or whatever but it feels like something bad like something something bad is happening or it's going to happen i'm i'm just it just feels weird like my anxiety fills up like i've been feeling really just weird like my my whole energy is weird and i don't like that for me so maybe what that mean i gotta stop talking to certain people or something and i don't even talk to a lot of people what that mean like what what does it mean like, it's just, I don't like it. Like, I feel uncomfortable. I feel like I'm not in my regular head space and, and everything. Girl, I was almost crying yesterday because, like, like I said, not just because all the stuff happening with the neighbors or whatever. Um, child, my dog goes outside and he just, I don't know if he constipated lately or what's going on. They are older now. They're like seven years old seven or eight, ain't one of them. And <clears throat> he goes outside and he just, he just stands around and he gets distracted. And it's funny because Chelsea just talked about it in her blog that her dog do the same thing or whatever. And it's just like, why, why are we doing this? I don't want to be outside late at night for 20 minutes to figure out if the perfect spot is the perfect spot. Like just squat your knees down and go ahead poop. Like I, like they, they poop and they pee. So when I know that they didn't pee all over the damn place and then poops, I'm taking them in. But he he decided that he just wanted to not poop. Girl, listen, we goes right in the house. He he did it this morning too. Like, I don't understand it. Like, I just I can't believe I just stepped on that damn tablet though. That's what really just threw me off. But y'all Is anybody else going through this? Like, is anybody else having this weird energy, this weird, like, situations that typically works out, not working out? Like, oh, gosh. Oh, I just, I don't know. I got so much stuff I need to do, like I said. And plus, I'm still still forming that complaint, regardless if it's the email call. I'm, I might just go ahead and call later, though. Just do it as a call. I hate calling. That's another thing about me, y'all. I hate calling for places. Like, if, if you can do it online, I'll do it online. Like, I hate calling. I hate calling. I might email, honestly. I'm just not in the mood to talk to somebody. I'm not in the mood to talk to anybody. <clears throat> but, y'all. But, yeah. So, we about to try to do some morning yoga. I'm going to go ahead and film me doing yoga. Probably the whole routine. <sighs> and yeah, we, we might we're gonna put some music over it all because I mean I just put on the screen who I go to every morning because she do she pretty much do daily uploads too though low key. Um and she from St. Louis. So I mean I don't I don't know if that helps anybody, but yeah. 
she's from she from over here oh anyway y'all so let's just go ahead and do this morning yoga i did take the beans out last night separated well separated most of them when i got to like this much of the bag i just poured the rest in i'm like i'm tired i'm i'm not i'm over it okay if, if it's a bad bean in here it's gonna be a bad bean but um so i took the beans out i gotta find the energy to get up and cook the bacon and the onions hopefully the onions did not go bad because i bought the onions last week and um sometimes i'm already chopped onions because i usually don't get already chopped onions but i wanted to make it easier for myself this time so i got the chopped onions that come in a container from walmart hopefully they ain't go bad and if they did bitch i'm girl i fuck around still pull them in the skillet whatever so yeah so we're gonna do that <clears throat> um uh after yoga because i do kind of want to cook breakfast i haven't been cooking y'all i have not been cooking i just i have not and my skin kind of look good today i ain't even gonna put the blurring filter on y'all my skin looking good today that's that's the thing about it like my skin look good in certain lighting that sound weird at least for me what's not another thing that's crazy bitch i'm telling you y'all i went outside yesterday looking like a rag doll okay and lately, I don't know, but the men's have been outside heavy. And not the men's I want, but I'm just saying they've just been outside. So, girl, I'm walking, walking Blue. Y'all seen Blue, Blue before because he was in my vlog uh, around Christmas. I'm walking Blue, and he like, you got a nice looking dog. I said, thank you. And he was like, you nice looking too. I said, thank you. Other night, and this is no bullshit. I'm walking them outside again. Let me find out. It's just blue and it ain't me. <laughs> but I walk them outside again and uh, somebody slowed down. Girl, he was in the passenger seat, though, of course. Passenger seat, Thompson, you got a man? I'm like, no. Usually I lie and be like, yes. I just said no. Like, I, I, my mind is not to the point of me like, keeping the lies going. So I'm like, no. And just no. I just kept walking. But girl, they been out here slowing down, stopping midway, and I have not been looking my best. So I already know when I, when I, you know what I'm saying? When I do my thing, when I do, when I do it, yeah. But ain't nobody over here I want anyway. But, <laughs> oh, that's just funny though. I'm telling you, on my bad days, when I feel like I look terrible and look a mess, the men still be one to pull some come through, come through. Boy, you know we got things to do. Okay, anyway, I'm rambling. I'm telling you, like I said, I, I have not been in a good headspace. I already know sometimes. That's why I don't overwatch what I upload because if I watch it, I'm going to delete it because I'm like, girl, you sound crazy. You sound crazy. So I just be trying to edit first time upload it and just leave it alone i don't go back and look at it mm -mm. it's weird it makes me feel weird like it made me cringe as, as shit that it maybe i shouldn't cringe at because i'm being myself but anywho let's just go ahead and get this yoga going take a second deep inhale for your nose
like a leaf. Yeah. That's my shot that I wanna cut me. Yeah. I go on the booth, yeah, and walk on the feet. Yeah. I'm tapping the chart, yeah, we tapping the meter. Yeah. My baby say she don't fuck with these bitches. Okay, cool. Uh, I told her I don't fuck with these niggas either. Okay, cool. I got him getting knocked off when I see him. If I ever put the bitch out, I'm gon' get on. She my type, she got brains and them tight tights She that day, that she gon' dance Ain't gon' touch her phone, she gon' let it smoke me She don't play, and she my type She got brains and them tight tights She that day, that she gon' dance Ain't gon' touch her phone, she gon' let it smoke me I like girls that dance Don't hide or move Not just they friends But with my dudes Cause you look so fly And you look so cute can I make you mine? What you wanna do? Uh, yeah. She don't play and she my type She got brains and I'm top type She that lady, she go dance Ain't gon' touch her phone She call it this moment She don't play and she my type She got brains and I'm top type She that lady, she go dance Ain't gon' touch her phone She call it this moment I like girls that dance We're different. Sweetie, we got a little bit out of the room. Sweet, that the sky. Bap, that the bed. You see, that the bed. We beat it. That the bed. Stitch me back together, make me in the who I wanna be But all you ever do is sit in the dark Dealing with the devil, you ain't never ever gonna be mine Cause I'm born a dance in the moonlight I feel like spending my nights alone I try to give you a little more space to grow Cause I'm with
All right, we in the kitchen with it and the sideboard, my other pair of glasses, my dog already ate them, so, well, tore them up. <sighs> That's why I bought two. I just, I knew like stuff happens, so you just need to buy two of everything at this point. But yeah, so we in the kitchen, we got to get to cooking. Oh gosh, I got a rice cooker that literally, it don't just cook rice, uh, it cooks um, oatmeal too. So I might put oatmeal in a rice cooker. Hold on, matter of fact, let me go get the rice cooker, y'all, hold on. Oh, sit down, go, go sit down. All right, so yeah, so we got the rice cooker now. And like I said, I think you can make oatmeal in it and we do got some oatmeal. So we gonna figure this out, put these dishes up. Oh. Uh, Get these beans in the crock pot. Damn, did I get some? Hold on, y'all. I don't even think I got no damn rock. I should have brought two. Anyway, so what I do is I pour the whole, uh, and you don't, it don't matter. Girl, great value, real value, bitch. It don't matter. Get you some chicken broth um, or vegetable broth. Pour the whole thing in there and then pour water in the container, fill it up, and then pour it in there again. It really kind of depends on your um, crock pot too. I got like a medium sized crock pot, so yeah. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm about to play music per usual because it helps with my product productivity. What the fuck is that? I got dick on my mind, is that what it is? <laughs> oh, it's been, a, it's been a minute, it's been some months, so I'm a, that's probably part of my motherfucking problem too. Anyway, you know what? At this point, bitch, I might as well be celibate. But yeah, so um, productivity, I have to have music. Like it's just, it's a need. It's a need. It feeds my spirit. So yeah, we're gonna play some music, and I might show y'all me pouring. I guess like the oatmeal in the crock, not the crock pot, in the uh, rice and grain cooker. So we're just we're gonna learn this together because I have never had a rice cooker. I wanted one because I just thought it would be cool. I thought it would be cool, if I'm being honest. But yeah, so let's just go get into it. I'm hearing. All right, guys. So we uh, still stepping in the kitchen. Hold on, let me come up a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, so we still in the kitchen, weedy. Um, we already got done with the oatmeal. So... Oatmeal's already done, and we use the rice cooker for the oatmeal. I'm gonna show y'all the oatmeal in a second if y'all give a damn. Y'all give a damn a day? A little bit? Not really? A little bit? All right. Anyway, um, and then we got the bacon on the stove, putting it in the crock pot with the beans. Um, so, and then I'm making bacon on the side too for this morning, so me and my daughter can eat bacon. So supplements that we taking today, okay, let me take some of this bacon out. Take some of this back and I'll take some of the grease out because you don't want to, when the grease starts, you know, when it's a lot of grease at the bottom of the pan, you want to kind of dump some of it out. You don't want to keep cooking in that same grease. At least I don't, you know? So put that to the side. Back in the day, we used to keep the grease in a separate, um, in a separate pan, but Lord again to go across some chicken. See what it's get what it gives, but um, let me hurry up and take these pills while this pan is still heating up. Anyway, so these are the pills that we're taking today. So we got the vitamin D pill. This is the smallest one. It probably ain't gonna focus. Yeah, it ain't gonna focus. Vitamin D, and then we also have the probiotic, women's probiotic, and then we have no matter of fact, this is the olive pill. So this is the olive pill for bloating. Then we got the probiotic, and then we also have a primrose pill that we're about to go ahead and throw back. Okay. Woo! Yep, and then we are taking creatine this morning because we are working on. We're gonna work out this morning. Um, I don't even think I worked out yesterday. Yeah, I didn't work out yesterday or the day before yesterday. So I've been slacking. Like the other day when I did my workout. My body, well, at least my thighs, 
and everything was screaming because it's been a minute. So I was like, you know what? I need to get back into my routine so our muscles can go back to the memory of the workout and we don't really hurt as much. So I got a little burn. Like this time the burn wasn't that bad. Like sometimes when I originally first started doing like squats and work, working on everything, I'm telling you, my body was, I was tipping. Tipping through the house and tipping downstairs, okay? But yeah, we're gonna get back in motion. That creatine gonna get us together. It's gonna, you know, get us right. So we gonna take the creatine and then for lunch, we gonna end up doing a spinach wrap with chicken and cheese and buffalo sauce and ranch. I did it yesterday and that shit was hidden. I don't got no chips today, so I don't know. Do, do I want to make a Walmart order for some chips? Or that's going to kind of throw me off. I ain't got no more chips. I might have to make a little order for chips, though. Because I do like chips with my, uh, with my wrap. You know, even though that's, that, that's not the healthiest. But, I, hell. It's calories. But anyway, let me get back to cooking. And get in motion. So I can be prepared to work out. Because it's 11.05. I typically like to be done working out by 12. So if I can eat my food. Start at like 11.30. And then be done by 12. I can take a shower. And continue with my day. And also take my boys outside. So yeah that's the routine for today. As of right now. And we are gonna officially start the book today. I've been slacking. I've been slacking. I've been, I've been really off my shit, okay? I've been letting a lot of stuff get me off my routines and off my mental ways. Um, so, we just about to get back to what we're supposed to be doing, you know, uh, with life in general and everything, yeah. But, all right, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next clip, man. All right, y'all, so do we feel like working out? Fuck no. But what we gonna do is work the fuck out anyway. Um, so, I'm about to start my playlist. Um... I guess one of these days I'm gonna go back to showing y'all what I'm working out. I guess we could do like one little Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I was gonna say like one little one little segment of the video I can show y'all me working out and then put my music on for the rest, but I no, I don't mm -mm. we ain't gonna do it. I'll let y'all see me do yoga this morning, so that shit suffice, but tomorrow I guess I'll let y'all see me doing a workout video or whatever. So yeah, and I was gonna put my waist train on, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't even gonna put it on. I ain't gonna put it on today, so let's just gonna get to it. I ordered me some energy drinks, so that's gonna be on the way around three o'clock. Um, so yeah, so we'll be having some energy drinks that we're gonna start taking in the morning so we can get some energy around this motherfucker. Cause it do be hard for me sometimes to make myself want to do certain stuff that I know I need to do throughout the day. So yeah, let's just go and get into it. Playlist is on my page, No One The Line. Today, that's that's what it go by, I don't know. Uh, I guess I can change it eventually, but it just make it easier for me like when I'm like uh, on the road, driving or whatever, and I go to the open playlist. But yeah, I do have Apple Music, but I really don't need to be using it for real. That's crazy. I'm having to cancel my subscription because I don't be using it. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do this workout and then, yeah. All right, y'all, so we just got out the shower. So we just got out the shower, feeling clean, good. Um, and now we about to officially start Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. Now it be taking me a minute to like get into the next book because like I said, I know how I am when I get to reading something, I barely put it down. I be trying to not run through it, but I, I know my focus usually be the book. So, and I don't be watching nothing on YouTube, social media, nothing. So I be needing that little moment to like, in between books to just be like, okay, let me relax and then I get right into it. So we gonna read the back of the book. And then of course I will be doing like a whole video pertaining to this book, a review about it, how I feel about it, different points. And y'all know how it gets down, so. We just gonna read the back, and it is loud in the background. We got Bluey playing. If you got kids, you know, kids love Bluey. Anyway, so. All right, so um, seven days to fall in love, 15 years to forget, and seven days to get it all back again. Eva Mercy is a single mom and best-selling erotica writer who is feeling pressed from all sides. 
Shane Hall is a reclusive, award-winning novelist who, to everyone's surprise, shows up in New York. When Shane and Eva meet unexpectedly at a black literary event, Sparks Fly, but what no one knows is that 15 years earlier, teenage Eva and Shane spent one crazy, torrid week madly in love and have been secretly writing to each other in their books ever since. Over the next seven days, amidst a steamy Brooklyn summer, Eva, Eva, not Eva, Eva and Shane reconnect. But Eva's wary of the man who broke her heart. Before Shane disappears again, she needs a few questions answered. With its keen observations of creative life in America today, as well as the joys and complications of being a mother and a daughter, Seven Days in June is hilarious, romantic, and sexy as hell story of two writers discovering their second chance at love. And then we got the little comments at the bottom. Somebody said, I read as sultry as the summer's heat. <laughs> Sign me up. Then it says, full of wit, warmth, and passion. So, here we go. We about to dive in. Oh, yeah. Trey Songz would slightly not be proud of me. Anyway, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get in here. I keep doing the tongue thing. For some reason, bitch, when I watch Tia Kim and she do that tongue shit, it's just funny as fuck. <laughs> anyway, bitch. Um... I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. All right. Okay. I'm still reading the book, and I am about to take one of my energy drinks. No, my mind. I'm about to drink this energy drink because it is a little early. It's like around four or something, and I'm st I'm still needing to um not necessarily cook because, like I said, we could just eat the beans this afternoon, which um I don't think I am. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this uh this uh what is it? What is it called, child? um this ground beef for tacos because i don't want my shredded lettuce to go bad so we're gonna have to go ahead and make them tacos tonight but yeah oh my god like this book okay this is my type of book this is yeah this is it this is fucking it so i'm gonna read like one little part <laughs> it's giving it's giving funny like it's giving like so far it's giving um kind of uh what is it called abbott elementary type funny like it's it's literally oh, like okay okay so um i'm on page 17 and then one of the parts so um eva which is one of the main characters she's a famous book writer and everything and she's known for writing erotica books um about like vampires and everything and like she's very established in that field or whatever but anyway, and I, like I said, I'm going to get more in depth with it when I make the review. But I just this one little part, child. So, so on this part, basically, she's coming from a, a reading. Not a reading. What is it called? Like when they gather people together, like women from, the, from, let me get it out. The women that love her books, they like travel to come see her at um, a particular place and she just left there basically. And her daughter, which is like 12, um, decided to bring over 20 kids, basically finessing the kids, child. She's finessing the kids from private school, acting like a therapist and she paid, um, well, they pay her $20 each. So it's 20 kids and she's getting $20 per kid. Like she is a hustler, baby. So uh, the mom finds out and because the babysitter told because she's like that in my description on uh, care.com, it don't say <laughs> uh, I can, I take her a house full of kids. So she came home and she's basically kicking everybody out. So this is one, like it ended up being a boy in there. So the boy is walking out and he's like, and her daughter name is Audrey. So um, the mom is talking, which is Eva. She's like, and she's talking to the boy, right? The 16 year old boy that us uh, that you know is in in this situation too, like trying to get some therapy. Everybody trying to get some therapy, right? Even the kids nowadays. But um, she's like, Eva says, You're in high school. Eva glared at Audrey, who sprinted down the hall and flung herself on her bottom bunk. Yeah, but I'm chill. I'm in a, I'm in the honors program. He says, You're in high school. Eva glared at Audrey, who sprinted down the hall, flung herself and flung herself on her bottom bunk. And then the dude, the boy is like, yeah, but I'm chill. I'm in an honors program at, at Dalton. And then Eva says, oh, I'm bathed in relief. Why are you hanging out with 12 year olds? 
And then um, he says, Audrey's like a really gifted mental health specialist. She's helping me manage the anxiety I feel due to my gluten, my gluten allergy. And then, so Eva says, quick question. Did my daughter diagnose this gluten allergy? And then uh, <laughs> Audrey says, he breaks out whenever he eats Fakoy or crostini. I'm assuming that's a noodle. <laughs> yeah, that must be a noodle. And then, I, and then it says Audrey yelled from her bedroom. What would you call that? And then Eva says, listen, you seem like a nice, and then it inserts gullible, but she didn't say gullible. That's what she's thinking. Kid, but you being here in my home without my knowledge is a hard no. Then the kid talking about something. I can't believe I missed my hip hop <laughs> violin lesson for this. <laughs> he said he grumbled and storming out. Like, that shit funny as fuck, bro. Like, what? Like, a hip hop violin lesson, bro? This shit funny as hell. So, I'm like I said, I'm already just loving it. Like, I'm loving it. I love the humor. And then also, let me read another part, y'all. This, this is a double yes for me. So, because clearly she don't play about this shit that I was just reading the last book I had that glorifies, you know, people lusting after basically kids and younger adults. So um meanwhile so her book is kind of like when she first read uh wrote her book and like got famous off of it she was still young like she still was um a young adult you know and she's also kind of explained in the beginning that she actually hate the books so now and she wished that it would die off but at the same time she know that's like her bread and butter so she can't really stop writing about the books and stop writing about um you know the romance between the vampires that are still like teenagers in a way um and stuff like that so one of the ladies this is when they was this is when they're at the uh like the, the meetup where all the women are coming around and like talking to her right so one of the ladies said um confession whispered a flush blind on her fourth glass of rosé my son plays ohio state basketball and i get so horny during games to me all those black players are sebastian so sebastian is the character of the book uh, one of the characters, well, the main character of the book um, that she's writing, which, like I said, is talking about vampires. So, this is a black woman talking about black vampires, which seems cool anyway when you think about it because not many books, let alone movies, shows, show black vampires. I would love to see it, but, I, girl, I haven't seen one yet. So, she says that, the lady says that, right? So, she's basically openly saying that she lusting off, off the young adults, um, you know, while they playing basketball. They just trying to make it, child. So, then Eva, in her head, she's like, she says, this will be my legacy, she thought. I have friends organizing protest rallies and writing Pulitzer Prize winning New Yorker essays on race in America. My own daughter so militant that she begged a cop to arrest her at the middle school march on Midtown. But my contribution to these troubled times will be inciting white, <laughs> inciting white women of a certain age to sexually profile black student athletes who really just like to make it to the NBA in peace. Like that shit felt, okay? And I'm just glad like, I love when the author is just is being an author and she being realistic and just it's, it makes me feel like I'm I'm literally reading from somebody black like and I know it's like duh bitch I mean the, the author is black the, the author is black duh but it's just it's refreshing bitch it's refreshing uh I'm already in love let's just finish reading this um I don't want to keep coming in, coming out, coming in, coming out. But, yeah, this is so far so good. So, yeah. Next clip, I'm probably going to be in the kitchen. No, probably not. Am I coming back later? Let me drink this. Let me see what this do. I have never tried this before. Let's see what this, you know, doing. I wanted it because it looked like this. I was searching for energy drinks. I also got this one. I, I hate that I got it in zero sugar, but I did want to try this flavor out. So, this is... Where the flavor is? Because I know I had it on here. It says, um, Ultra Strawberry Dreams. Yeah. I wanted to try this cotton candy one that, um, it's this girl that I watch on YouTube and she do fitness content. And she, I don't think it's by Monster. It's by somebody else. You actually got to order that off like Amazon. But it's like a cotton candy, cotton candy, um, Hold on, let me get you a juice because you can't drink on this. 
a cotton candy energy drink and she do it before her pre-workout so yeah i'm i'm gonna you know look into that but like i said we're gonna try this and then yeah i'm gone girl y'all why that dog got out and i put my sweatpants on because i was gonna go outside and tell the neighbor that they dog is wandering the neighborhood right now but i was like you know what fuck it no he's some i i don't see look i'm not for sure if that's the dog the dog is annoying as all get out but I don't know because I mean people have them dogs around here. I mean I don't know who dog it is. I'm I'm not too sure because the dog don't have no collar or nothing. So he looked like the dog, but he looked like he going on the other street now. This is a sad case. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm just trying to see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if somebody come outside. I'm gonna see if somebody come outside. I don't want to just go grab the dog though. Nor did I want to walk over there. Maybe I should go over there. Let me go over there. Uh, and this is why I will be emailing. <laughs> I'm going to email them still. <laughs> so I go over there, child. Because, like I said, excuse me. The nice dog owner and me is like... I would want somebody to let me know my motherfucking dog was roaming the neighborhood and I couldn't find him. I saw his ugly ass. He went from across the street, then he instantly runs back, instantly runs back in. So, I'm just not understanding. I'm not understanding. Then the gate is wide open, y'all. The gate is wide open. So, this is like normal. So anyway, like I said, so I'll go over there and knock on the door. Girl, ain't nobody answered at first. I just starts to walk off and he opened the door and I'm telling him that the dog ran off on the other street and ran back there or whatever. And child, he basically was like, oh, he here. Like he, he like pointed back like the dog is in there and shook his head or whatever. I'm just like, if you know that Fido be running around the neighborhood just loose as fuck. Just just loose. Why why not for one close the gate for one? And for two, like why is this normal? It's okay that your dog running loose? You ain't scared about the dog getting hit, uh ate up by another dog, hence my dog like ugh. Oh my goodness bro, I'm telling you. See? This what I be talking about. The niceness in me be there, and then it be, it, then it kind of shifts and go away because it's like, come on, G. Like you, so you know, y'all know that the dog do what it want to do. No collar on, nothing. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like people be wanting some bad to happen to their animals. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's that's like that's literally like me just having my dogs loose as fuck, and they keep getting out all the time, and they harass the neighborhood, they scaring people and shit, biting people and shit, and I'm just like, well, that's just what they do. What? <laughs> Girl, get me out of get me out of here. I ain't gonna keep saying it, but get me the fuck from over here. I need to be somewhere else, child. At least somewhere that ain't got neighbors, or if this neighbors is old people that don't do much, that don't do nothing for real. But come on, G. Then he got a hoodie on in the house. <sighs> Get me out of here. I tried, y'all. I tried the niceness in me. I tried. Like, when I. Y'all should have saw the way this motherfucker was running, though. He was running his little head ass fast as fuck to get back, to go back where he supposed to be. Like, no. Stay over there. Stay over there. Wherever you was doing. Somebody grab him. Can somebody grab him? Now, I'd be petty if I go on to that. Uh, it's like an app. I think it's called Neighborhood. It's called something. I'd be petty if I went on that app and be like, look, I don't give a fuck who get this dog. This dog get out around this time every day. Pull up, and I promise you, you can have this dog for free. That I'd be petty if I did that, right? If I did that, I'd be petty as hell. But come on. 
people be having noodles for brains. Okay, you know what? Bye. Let me finish this damn book. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't got annoyed again, and this just reminded me even more that I need to go ahead and force that motherfucking complaint so they can reach out to them so they can start getting fined every time that dog be out. Yeah, because I will be snitching. See, I ain't want to be the neighborhood snitch, but I have to. I call the police every time, too. When anything fucked up going on around here, if I hear gunshots, well, not all the time when I hear gunshots, but if I hear gunshots that's close, because one time. I heard gunshots and somebody was like screaming. I was asleep, so it woke me up. I was starting and shit. I called the police. I'm like, look, listen. It been so much activity over here, y'all. Like, I got stories for days, child. But anyway, let me go ahead and finish this book. My daughter keeps trying to put this straw in my energy drink. Not happening. <laughs> I want her to take a nap, if anything. But yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all. Sidebar, I'm back for a second. Email just was sent. Yeah email sent yeah i'm not playing anymore so email sent and that energy drink i'm already kind of starting to feel it okay hopefully it don't give me the jitters but it's, it's starting to kind of get activated i know when energy drink is activated baby it's getting there so so far taste wise it did taste good too though so i will be getting that again and it's cheap <sighs> excuse me all right i'm going for real now okay this is the quickest update ever Matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to come back and say it. Girl, so allegedly, the same dog I said that was running back over there. So I'm outside. Got my dog right. Once again, we got Mr. Blue. Hold on, let me get comfortable. Let me get comfy when I'm telling y'all this tea. Hold on, let me not. Let me sit right here. So... My dog is outside, blue in the back, and I'm seeing a van drive down, but I wasn't really paying attention. I saw the person in the van look over, but I'm just like, shit, everybody be looking over most of the time when they driving past this motherfucker anyway. So, the van come back, right? Come back and be like, have you seen my dog? I'm like... And she was like, she the neighbor, whatever. I'm like, oh, so a face to the name, huh? I mean, not to the name, but a face to the to whoever the fuck lived there. So I'm telling her, I say, well, it was a dog that ran across the street and then ran back. And, um, you know, and, I, and when I went over and knocked on the door, I told him, you know, the dog was out. And I said that he said that the dog was inside the house. And she on the speakerphone with whoever the, the boy is that stayed there and she was like hey you she she came over and blah 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 i don't know what he said on speakerphone i really don't give a fuck and i said nah well i'll just be looking and then um i was like you know your gate open <laughs> she didn't say nothing but bitch you i mean you have to know it's always open girl i don't give a fuck hopefully cinnamon is gone bitch hopefully his motherfucking ass is gone long gone i i promise you if this if this dog is on this the dog that's been keep having have me have constant issues already i hope he gone i hope he gone now if the dog is gone hopefully in a respectable home that somebody care about him that's all i can say because they didn't care they didn't care and i've seen two dogs though so i've seen a brown one and then i also seen another one that i don't know if that's some kin to her that come over because i saw a black dog with the other dog too i don't give a fuck and then and then i heard her um pulls back up and she was like yelling at the dude or whatever and cussing him out i'm like girl listen all y'all are irresponsible to be honest because when you at the crib you be letting your kids or whoever kids had a dog outside and he just be running the muck so hopefully somebody else got him i ain't gonna lie to you i really do hope somebody else got the dog that actually love animals and that will take care of the dog because that's just ridiculous then the dog don't even have a fucking collar on the least you can have is a collar on the dog i mean he don't even look like a lost dog besides him looking like one of them dogs that everybody keep in the house because most people keep those type of dogs in the crib or on the chain but hopefully my sorrows and my worry has been filled and the dog is in the rightful home of somebody that actually care okay
Now, some people may be looking at me like, damn, bitch. Like, that is still their dog, but they was curly. So, when people are curly with animals, I wish that they'd be with somebody else. I do have a soft spot for animals, so I will hope that the animal is in a great home. That's all I can tell you. Otherwise, hopefully somebody called the damn uh, pound and somebody take his motherfucking ass in and once again put him in the right home. Because, no. And then all that yelling and cussing at the person... You don't even need to do all that because you at fault too. All y'all at fault. Horrible dog owners. Trash. But yeah. Keep your, keep your gate closed. All I can say, keep your gate closed. I mean, the dog has been getting out and if you in the crib not giving a fuck, why would I give a fuck? And I really ain't on the lookout. I don't give a fuck if I see that dog literally walking right past me. I'm not saying shit. No. Fuck you. Fuck you for real. Yeah, it's like that. It really is. Especially when I said your gate is open. I mean, girl, your gate is open. I'm just, I'm letting you know because it seems like you didn't know. <laughs> Are you acting clueless? But uh, I don't, please. I'm just trying to move away from here. That's all. Just don't, I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I'm just trying to move away from here. Hopefully my prayers have been solved, solved that quickly. Thank God. Thank Jesus. Thank the universe. Okay. Thank it all. Okay. Cause that that's honestly cherry on my Sunday for real. Cause I've been having a little a little rough flu days. But that has honestly been good. Yeah. Yeah. I feel great. Bye. Stop just popping in here. I'm gonna stop just popping in here. I love I love Eva. I love her. Like, she will be my friend in real life. Like, what the fuck? This guy, I'm about to read this little thing. I'm done coming here saying this, y'all. I'm sorry. I know. It's just like, I keep popping up because I be wanting to tell y'all. Girl, she said, okay, so, like I said, the situation with the, the boy leaving out the room, whatever. So, um, so this is Eva's standpoint. So, Eva staggered to the couch well to her couch she never been able to think clearly with jeans on so she wriggled out of them sitting there in wonder woman panties she googled twin discipline tips on her phone the top article sidebar that's i'm that's such me that's that's so such me that's so me okay so she was like okay so she said eva okay so it says eva staggered to her couch she never been able to think clearly with jeans on so she wriggled wriggled out of them sitting there in her wonder woman panties she googled tween discipline tips on her phone the top article suggested a behavior contract she had neither the legal prowess nor the energy to draw up a contract huffing she tossed her phone aside and clicked on apple tv when life got too challenging she watched insecure that's so me that is so me like even when she got to talking about her ex-husband and 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 how they oh never mind i ain't gonna say too much because i want to talk about all this stuff in the review i want to talk about all this stuff in the, the official book review but this is so me like when life gets challenging i'm telling you i turn right to insecure baby that's my comfort show which i'm gonna have to start it again after i'm done with this book i'm gonna start insecure being again because that's just one of them shows like you you have to just keep watching it over and over just because it's not gonna be another season you know, don't mean to stop watching it. Like, that's just every little scene, every part of it, like the writing of it, the explaining, the emotions, and it's just realistic. It's very realistic. Now, I have never cheated on a man, but when you watch Insecure, it just, it makes you kind of understand, like, why Issa cheated, like, in, in a little bit of a way. Lawrence was a good man, even though he kind of lacked ambition at some times, but... I can understand being frustrated and wanting to cheat because I have wanted to cheat before, but I never went through with it. But, girl, shout out to Tia Williams. Let's just finish. Let's continue this book. This is, I feel like this is one of those books that's going to have me up late at night. And I love books like that, like where I just don't want to put it down. I want to keep reading it all night long. Yeah, this book is it. All right. Okay, I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get in the shower. I want to end this video. Video. Why, why am I having trouble speaking and talking? Let me slow down. I'm about to end this video off in the bathroom. Like, it's been a minute since I've been in the bathroom and did, like, some kind of commentary or whatever. 
<sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm about to get in the shower and um update. I still don't think it's any dog. I still don't think it's any dog around. And like I said, like part of me is like, you know, from a dog parent perspective, I am saddened, okay, because I would hate for my dog to get get out the fence and just run away and I never see him type shit. But I, I, re, I kind of also don't really know what's going on. I haven't heard the dog. So, I mean, technically I'm still thinking the dog is lost or whatever the hell. Then the police pulled up and I don't know if they like took a statement or whatever, trying to see if somebody can call in, if somebody found a dog. But <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to be taking a shower and lately I keep on gravitating to this native uh cotton and lily do i love the scent no no <laughs> is it a bad scent no um but I, i'm just trying to use it all like i have so many body washes and stuff like that i'm just trying to not be a hoarder for real like i love smelling good you already know what's tea over here on this side um so i love stuff that smell good and everything but this one is not something i'll buy twice i was wishing that i could smell more of the cotton than the lily but you know the lily and the cotton mix is kind of weird i don't like how it smell to be honest but native make good body, body washes i still haven't tried the um what is it called the girl scout cookie line or whatever um, I haven't really heard nobody talking about it, but then again, I haven't really looked for it either. Like, I'm not one of those people that search a lot of hygiene videos anymore. Like, I, I don't, I don't. Only time I'm searching for, like, hygiene stuff is, like, if a perfume come out and I might look at a video. But other than that, like, I really don't be looking at stuff like that anymore. Um, but, yeah, I'm still a hygiene girly. Like, it's crazy because I be, I'm still getting comments on, like, previous videos with perfume and people saying they subscribe based off perfume i'm just like well choose your fate if you're gonna stay if you're gonna stay if you're gonna go you're gonna go because like i said i will not be doing a lot of fragrance content for real for real now um because i enjoy doing vlogs i enjoy talking to y'all and i enjoy like you know talking about my life and what i'm going through right now with but yeah so like i said about to get in the shower use this cotton and lily um i might do the the uh what is it called the teardrop type perfume or i might do one of my uh you know vintage perfumes tonight i'm feeling i'm feeling like that i'm feeling like that tonight so yeah and then as far as lotion i don't even think i'm gonna do lotion tonight i might do vaseline put it all over me of course face and all but yeah so anyway let me go ahead and wrap this video up like, subscribe, comment, and thank y'all for watching this video. And if you made it to the end, drop a black heart in the comments. All right, y'all. Peace, period.